What's up guys, it's your boy Dime. We have finally made it to 100 subscribers, man. First of all, I want to thank God for getting me to this position because I know none of this would be possible without him. And second of all, I want to thank all of you who have supported the channel, have been here since the beginning, or even if you if you just subscribe now. You know, I just want to thank you for supporting the channel, man. And everything is only up from here. It's only up from here, as I've said plenty of times before. Man, we're on the road to 200 subscribers now, baby. Let's keep it going, man. Thank y'all so much. Peace out, 100. Now, enjoy your video. Word. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Dime, and welcome back to Dime Up Cuz, man. Hey, we finally hit the 100 subscribers mark, bro. I took a little break to live in, soak in the moment. Um, Eight months into this YouTube journey, I'm at 100 subscribers, and who knows where I'm going to be in the next eight months. So, as I promised, this is the Q&A, and um, I pulled out 10 questions. From my Instagram, I asked on my story, hey, y'all gonna ask me some questions for this Q&A? I put out 10 questions, and if you already don't follow me on IG, why not go follow me on IG? My username on, on IG is in the link in the description. Let's go. So, the first, oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, if you weren't here when we first hit 100 subscribers, it's not too late to go ahead to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dom. Now, this intro is getting too long, so let me get into it. So the first question is, what's my name? My name is Matthew. Yes, it is Matthew. Yes. Um, it's it's kind of weird, but hey, as, now y'all know me as somebody else. You know, how old am I? 300. How old, so how old are you? 300. Um, but for real though, I am 15 years old. You know, about to be turning 16 in uh, September. So these are really just normal questions that really anybody would ask. How tall am I? 5'10", 5'11". Who knows? I haven't measured myself in months. Why did I choose the name Dime Up Cuz? Really, I really put no thought into it. I really just made based it off of like basketball terminology. Like basketball, when you throw a dime, you're throwing like a really flashy assist. But my friend, he gave it a whole nother meaning. So like Dime Up Cuz, like I'm up now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm up. It, it has two meanings, basketball and the one my friend really gave it. He gave it a, a whole different meaning and really changed the way I look at the entire name. The fifth question is a, is a deep question. Why did I start YouTube? Really, if you've been around since the beginning, I started this YouTube off as a basketball center channel because I love basketball. Basketball has been part of my life forever you know and me being able to talk about basketball and outlet to many people on a platform such as youtube where it gets off to like millions or billions of people possibly it it it, it gives me a whole nother way to tell people about my bat like how, how my love for basketball and and really it's it's it, I just love doing YouTube. It's fun, you know. The editing process is fun. Making the videos is fun. Making the, the making the mistakes while filming the videos is fun. So really, it's really worth it if you really love what you're doing and really love what content you're putting out. I'm gonna tell you this: it's gonna pay off in the future. I promise you. What's the end goal? I don't even know to be honest. The end goal for this is just really just to put out the videos, really, and just talk about what I love and do what I love on this on this on this platform. Really, that's really the end goal, and to actually help people make people smile make people laugh you know get people interested in a lot of things you know you know because i've gotten a lot of really positive notes bro from people telling me they 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 got into basketball now you know like they, they they said they never really cared about basketball before they even saw my channel so doing something like that has really helped a lot of people and me and and i'm not gonna get me wrong i did kind of did trans transition from basketball to the story times now but basketball content is still gonna be there i promise you advice i would give to any starting youtuber consistency is key bro consistency is really key i re i know i did take like a month break off you know what i'm saying but those were for like school and things like that. And when I came back, I was still hitting my strides. You know, I was still pulling in the average views I would get. You know, I was still gaining subscribers. Really, it's it, really what you need is consistency. You know, make up a schedule. You're going to upload every two days. You're going to record a video, two videos in this one day. Then schedule those videos to come out on these certain days, these two days. You know, that's what I do. Not usually, not all the time, but sometimes I would do that. Uh, but really, consistency sticking with it bro if it seems like your channels become stagnant don't give up because i remember my channel was stagnant at like 54 for like two months then for some reason i uploaded a nikola Jokic video and went up by like 13. so 
really it it's really just got to stick with it man you got to stick with it and keep going with it man you can't give up don't give up because look at all these other youtubers man their channels probably did stay stagnant at one point but what they never gave up and look what they're at now don't give up bro because i you i know and you know i know and you know that one day the channel is all going to blossom into what they're supposed to be. How do you view? How do I view YouTube as a platform, and how do I view channels? I view YouTube as a very good uh, platform to express what you feel. Um, I know there are a lot of bad things on YouTube. I know there's a lot of good things. You know, I like to look at the good things, not the bad things. But looking at the bad things also shows the underlying tones of that platform. But anyway, I don't want to get too political here. View YouTube is a very good platform for people to express their opinions, their emotions, their feelings. You know, me expressing my love for basketball or me expressing my crazy story times, which I really, really encourage you to check out. I mean, they're, they're bangers, you know, certified. But really, it's a really good channel, really good platform and one of the best platforms out there to get yourself out there how do i view youtube channels is the real question that i want to get to i view youtube channels as a house you know the first few videos you upload are going to be the foundation right then again you can't keep using that foundation forever you're going to have to build on top of that foundation you're going to have to build what your support what goes around the house you know you're going to have to build all the internal things everything like that see that's how i view my channel the the foundation videos were the basketball videos that go that's what gave my channel life that's what gave my channel some type of sustainability on youtube per se then i transition to the story times the story times now are the internal workings of the channel it's building the channel it's giving the channel more of an identity than what it first is now who knows what the final touches are who knows then this is going to lead to the next question what's next for the channel irl vids bro like irl vids are going to be coming out like that is a number one thing like on my list irl videos like that's if i had a list of all the things i want to do for this channel it would be a mile long but number one on that list would be iro videos like i want to get out there now you know it's summer everybody's doing their thing i'm about to get a car bro like i'm about to get my own job camera all that for some reason i decided to put this question in there it relates to basketball my boy zt shout out to zt he uh suggested this question how many championships would need to be won to be the goat of the nba i've said this in my very first youtube video there's nothing you can do to be the greatest of all time in the nba the only thing you can do is be better than everybody else really that's all you can do <laughs> you know you can only be the gener you can only be the generation goat the goat of the generation i don't believe there is a goat in the nba i feel like there's goats in a generation but really it's 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 complicated if you want to i'll remaster my first video as the second 100 subscriber special hey if you enjoyed this q a and want me to do more in the future man remember to like comment and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy dime this is a very different video than i usually do you know these sit down talk to you vids but really these are mostly announcement and also get to know me videos man but don't be putting my name in the comments don't be like hey matthew you're a great vid bro that's kind of trash don't do that if you enjoyed the video why not give it a like comment and subscribe because how can you like a video and not like it god bless peace out 100 Bow. 1k on the way baby let's go uh